All right, I'm uh, Jason Masse. I'm the uh, I, one of the IS architects for uh, Micron, and I'm here with Duncan Epping, a uh, chief technologist for VMware. Thanks, Jason, for having me. Glad to have you here. So Micron's message here is that you must use old flash for vSAN, and I think the key thing here is it's all about performance, but not necessarily about the amount of IOPS you can drive per virtual SAN node. But I think the key message from Micron, in my opinion at least, is the extremely low latency that you guys can, can receive from these types of boxes. So we're literally talking about microseconds of latency instead of the normal milliseconds of latency that you will have with spinning disks. And I think that shows the true value of an off-flash solution. I, just last week I was talking to a customer and they've, they've been running humongous databases on top of virtual SAN. Uh, large SQL databases, they're also running Oracle on top of it. And especially in those types of scenarios, uh, the old flash configuration is, is, is one of the best configurations you can have. I think another interesting use case, and you're probably going to like this, is I was talking to a customer and they deployed vSAN uh, on the train, and then there's another customer who's deploying vSAN in a cruise ship. And I think those are the types of scenarios where old flash also comes into play because you don't have the vibration issues with the vibrations anymore, right? right. Where normally you're spinning this could potentially die. When you use flash, you don't have those problems anymore. You get the benefits of the great performance, low, low latency, but also the environmental aspect. Right. Yeah, the other thing too that I've noticed is with all flash vSAN, in addition to the extremely low latency, it's very consistent on its low latency, and if you need more capacity or more performance, it scales very linearly by just adding another node, add another node. It, extremely easy setup, reduced complexity. You don't have to add additional fiber channel, additional shelves, make capital purchases. A lot of times, you can just do a small incremental, uh, small incremental expense purchase and just increase your performance that way. Yeah, I think the predictability that you just mentioned is key in, a, in an old flash environment, but uh, primarily for our users as well, you know, whether it's VDI or server, I think being able to predict what your environment will look like when you start pushing those, those numbers up is really important. I think that's the key feedback I've been getting from customers as well. Hybrid performs really great, but with old flash, you're, you know, you're guaranteed to have sub-millisecond latency, which is something that's worth a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, one of the one of the demos that we did, we we added, we did a hybrid and uh, an all flash. And when we added additional databases on the all flash, the performance increased. And when we added the databases on the hybrid, once you get outside of the cache of the the all flash vSAN, it just immediately dropped. And in order to get the same performance, it was it would take three x, which is great. Right. So it was just in, incredible performance. So with our partnership with VMware and Micron, we're able to leverage and co-develop and, and test how the, the best solutions that we can do. Like, should we use SAS? Should we use SATA? Should we use PCIe? What's the best configuration for a vSAN or a virtual SAN and to get the maximum performance? No, I agree. I think you know, the, the collaboration between the companies like Micron and VMware is, is, is critical for the success of virtual SAN. Just, us being capable of testing uh, our product to the extent that we want to test by leveraging your devices already increases things like availability and the reliability of the product itself. And I'm not even just talking about, not just talking about uh, things like firmware, but also about the devices itself running these long extended tests to see how the environment will respond to certain scenarios. And I think that's the big benefit of the relationship that we have with great partners as yourself. Yes, it, yeah, it's definitely accelerated I think it has greatly accelerated the capabilities of vSAN. Yeah, and that's, I guess that's the key message as well with the hyper-converged environment. It's not just a VMware thing. Right. It's, it's a combination of different components, in this case, Micron and VMware, and potentially uh, server providers as well. All right, thanks very much for stopping by. No problem, thanks for your time.